Collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Captain America from the upcoming film Captain America Brave New World as part of the Epic Hero series. So this is very similar to the Falcon release that I reviewed previously where you have the figure and then you have the giant wing backpack with this kind of handheld apparatus which make the wings flap. Uh, you can see it being utilized here on the right side of the packaging. And then once again, we have this kind of open style of packaging where you can actually touch the figure, which is kind of weird in my opinion, but shows you the basic functionality here on the top of the box. Not really much going on here on the bottom. Over here, again, showing how the wings can flap. Uh, over here, just have a picture of Captain America. And then thanks to Amazon, some really nice destroyed box. <laughs> Luckily, I don't keep these. Uh, but again, just showing off the functionality here on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. Here is everything you get in the box. Of course, you get the Captain America figure, and then you get the backpack with the wings and the flight stand. The makeup of these are almost identical to the one that came with the Falcon, and I will bring the Falcon in here so you can see. Um, I think I'm just going to take the figure off of here for the moment, and then we'll take the backpack off just so you can really see how these are pretty much identical. The flight stands are exactly the same, with the exception of the bar on the bottom just being done in you know character-specific colors but the other pieces are absolutely the same. So just to show that off. And then of course you have the backpacks with the wings, again, just done in different colors. You can see that the wings are actually molded differently. So Captain America's wings are a little bit bigger than Falcon's wings and a little bit more robust, we'll say. <laughs> They're thicker. Uh, these are kind of more bird-like, I would say. So they do have a different shape there, which I appreciate. And then this works the same as with Falcon, where you just plug this into the spot on the back and clip it around the waist, and then you're set to go. And just like with Falcon, it's way too heavy and there's absolutely no way he can stand on his own, which is a bummer, but does look kind of cool. Now, the thing that I always thought was kind of weird, and I guess I guess it, I guess I get it from the play standpoint of using it with the display stand or the flight stand, um, I almost wish I flipped these so that that way you'd have the paint on the inside so he'd look more impressive standing here like this. But considering he can't stand on his own anyway, I guess it's a moot point. And when you're flying him around, you want to see the paint on the top. But I actually, I don't even think you can flip them around the way that they're made. But I almost kind of wish they, or painted both sides would be nice. But I guess, you know, budget standpoint, can't really do that. But there he is with the wings. I think he looks pretty good. I wish he could stand on his own. I wish the backpack wasn't so ridiculously heavy. Um, or maybe if they gave you some kind of stand to put him on. Or again, like I said in the video for the Falcon, if they gave you a lighter pair of wings that you could just plug into the hole in the back without the backpack. Just like a lighter dummy set of wings, I guess, uh, would have been nice. But... Yeah, so we'll take a look at the figure first before we bring the flight stand back in. So here is Captain America. You can see he has a helmet covering his entire face on there. Uh, kind of like the goggles. I don't. I haven't seen the movie, obviously. It doesn't come out until February, so I don't know if this is going to be his look in the movie while he's flying around, but I guess it makes sense. But then again, in the previous movies, he flew around with just glasses, so... I don't know. But in any case, the head's on a ball joint, so you can move it side to side. You can look down slightly. You can look up slightly. Tilt side to side a little bit there. He does come with a shield, which works well. Clips onto the arm very solidly. That's not going anywhere, which is nice, because in the past, we've had issues with the shields connecting and staying on, so I do appreciate that. Uh, detailing here on the shoulder and the chest, I think, looks pretty good. It is primarily made out of this dark blue plastic. You have a little bit of paint here for the gloves, and then I think the hands are done in a different plastic. It's kind of hard to tell. So if we look at this forearm piece, this is obviously done in the blue plastic. Maybe it's two different pieces of plastic fused together at that seam. I'm not 100% sure. This almost looks like part of it could be paint, but I think it is separate plastic. But in any case, there's no movement in the uh, wrist or anything like that because this is one solid piece. So pretty standard articulation for these. You have the nice ratchet 
I don't know if you can hear it there, but it's a pretty nice ratchet and swivel in the shoulder. And then you have a hinge and a rotation in the elbow. Nothing in the waist, unfortunately, but you do have the standard kind of kick out to the side. Unfortunately, he can really only raise his legs about that much going forward and nothing in the back because of the butt flap. And then you have a hinge and a swivel at the knee. But it's a decent looking figure. I mean, like I said, I think they did a pretty good job. And I'm assuming this is what he's going to look like in the movie. I still wish there was a way to connect this to the back. I feel like all they would have had to do is maybe put a peg underneath here somewhere. Or maybe have this like fold down and have a peg. And then you could pop it on the back there. I really wish that that was possible. But I guess if they expect you to have the wings pegged in most of the time. Kind of a moot point. Because he would not be able to peg in the shield and use the wings at the same time. Uh, just to do a quick comparison with the previous version of Captain America that we've gotten. Now, this one is the one from the Mech Strike series, but I believe it's the exact same figure that was then packaged separately with the uh, Avengers gold cards. So, you can see that it's pretty different. Um, I'm trying to see if any molding is shared. It doesn't really look like it. So, I think they did a pretty good job. You know, we got a movie-accurate version. We have a comic-accurate version. Neither of them can peg the shield in. He doesn't even have a peg hole, I just noticed. <laughs> That's surprising, especially because of the mech strike attachments and whatnot. But, yeah, I think they both look pretty good. So, definitely, I think it's worth having both versions. They're different enough. I mean, like I said, they don't really share any molding. In the While the designs are similar... I feel like they're different enough that it warrants having both. I still think I have to give it to the comic accurate one. Just more color, just pops a little bit more. But I do like this one. So getting back to the main gimmick for this toy, we're going to take the backpack with the wings and we are going to clip it around the waist and then peg it into the back there. And then I guess we'll raise the arms up so it looks like he's flying. And then we will take this and slide the flight stand piece there in between the back and the backpack. And there he is, fully connected. Let me angle this up a little bit. So there you go, he is flying around. You can use this button to flap the wings. So the way this is supposed to work, and I couldn't really get it to work on my Falcon either, but these are supposed to, like, go all the way forward like this, and it's attack or strike formation, something like that. So you can see that they get a little bit uh, <laughs> close. You can kind of click these up a little bit more. Let me see if I can actually get this to... Maybe they are clicked up all the way, because I can't really click them any more than that. I can definitely click them back. You can hear that they kind of click back and then they sit back a little bit further but they're not even but you can still I guess maybe that's like the natural flapping which looks fine I have no problem with that uh, but then you can kind of click these a little bit more and they're supposed to come more forward like he's striking like that but again you can see like this one hangs down low and this one doesn't so it's a little is that a little better? They're still a little messed up. I don't know. I feel like this one on mine, it might be a QC issue, but it's a little bit messed up, or I should say more messed up than the one for the Falcon was. But So you can see like it doesn't really want to come any more forward. That's a little better. So I don't know. It's not a perfect system, I'll be honest. Like, it's just... This is the whole gimmick of the toy, and I don't really care for it. I didn't really care for it with the Falcon either. Um, I would much rather just have this figure with a normal set of wings that I could attach to his back, and he would be able to stand without having so much weight that he immediately falls over. And I would rather just pay $12 or whatever instead of 15 because this doesn't do it for me now. I understand that I'm not the target audience for this. Um... And, you know, maybe the target audience will love this. I don't know. But for me, it's just a bulky apparatus that only works 
somewhat. I mean, I can't deny that it does flap the wings. Like, it does flap the wings. As far as having strike formation and normal formation, no. I think it just, find the angle you like the wings at the best and use it to flap the wings. And it does work to flap the wings. But no matter what I do, these do not come all the way forward for strike formation. Maybe gravity is supposed to help. I don't know. It's just not, it's not a perfect system. I get what they're going for. And it does flap the wings, but I can't really notice two different formations. So here are all three of the releases so far as part of the Epic Hero series for Captain America Brave New World. And as far as I know, this is the complete collection. I don't know if anything else is coming. These are the only three releases that I know of so far. Uh, maybe there's another villain in the movie that they're trying not to spoil, and so they'll do something for that later on. I have no idea, but this very much could be it. Um, sadly, Red Hulk, I think, is my favorite. I know it's just a simple repaint of a toy that they did with a new head sculpt, but it works. It gets the job done. He looks good. The door accessory is whatever, but I really like that release. Uh, Falcon and Captain America, they're fine. I don't love the big, goofy, wing-flapping contraption. But just looking at the figures, I think they look pretty good. Um, I think Falcon just needs something to make him pop a little bit. And it might be a situation where, you know, in this first movie, they're just grabbing something for utility and they're going to soup it up for the next movie. We've seen that before. We, we saw it with... Uh, Sam, when he was the Falcon back in uh, Winter Soldier, you know, then he got a much flashier costume later on, so it might be something similar to that. Um, but yeah, I hope I hope they give this Falcon, you know, a little bit something flashier <laughs> just for the next movie, because this is very uh, just kind of boring. And, and the colors are good; I like the colors, but it just it needs something a little bit more flash. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, Captain America, you know, Sam Wilson over here looks pretty good in this suit. And I think it's different enough from the other release that it makes sense to have them. But like I said, this very well might be it for this movie. I hope not. Um, but I think the figures are good. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the giant flight stand wing thing. It's okay, and it does what it says it should do, kind of. But as a collector who just loves the figures, I wish a little bit more focus was put on them and not so much the gimmick. One other thing I did notice before we wrap up, you can actually just balance it like this, which I have to admit is something I didn't try until just now, but this could actually work to display it on a shelf if you just pop it like this and just have them flying there and it will actually balance on that. So kind of interesting, wanted to throw that in quick just to point that out because this could actually work for a display. So that's gonna do it for this review of Captain America from Brave New World. Um, I will say that I like how when you have them connected, you can kind of display them like this. So if you wanted to put them on a shelf and have them standing, it kind of balances with this. So that kind of works. I just wish there was a way I could obtain this view without this giant piece here in the front. Because I think the figure looks cool. I even really like the wings. I think they did a decent job with them. I just don't love the giant backpack piece. I wish there was a way that you could just take the wings off the backpack and attach them to, you know, the back, whether it's a separate set of fake wings that are smaller just to get the, you know, point across, or if it was some kind of small, just even like a rectangular connector piece that I could just pop these wings off of this, pop them onto that, and then peg it onto the back, just so it didn't have so much weight. Um, but yeah, the figure's good. It's basically the same thing I had to say about the Falcon. I think the figure's good. I think, you know, as he comes with an accessory at least. Falcon didn't even have an accessory. He has the shield, which I think looks good, attaches to the arm good, stays on well. I wish there was a way to attach it either to the backpack of the wings or his back directly, but we don't see that very often, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, the figure is good. The gimmick is all right. So if you're someone who doesn't care for the gimmicks at all, maybe wait. Maybe this will get re-released some other way. You know, just the figure, that's very possible. We've seen things like that before, like with the Mech Strike, where they just repackaged them as bubble-on-card single figures. So, if you need it now, I don't think you'll be terribly upset. I mean, it is only $15, whereas a normal release is usually 10 to 12 So, 
it's not egregiously overpriced for this quirky gimmick and the gimmick works okay but if you really if you're like me and you're just in it for the figure maybe wait for a sale or maybe wait for it to get repackaged because it's very possible that that could happen so i think the figure's good the gimmick is eh that's where i stand on this let me know what you guys think in the comments below please like share and subscribe hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks so much for watching